meal prepping isn't your jam, but you also are stressed out by dinner time during the week or any day really, then you need to try dinner boxes. Welcome to Sunday prep, it's time to do dinner boxes. What? Did you do I did something a little different this week in that I planned, which it's not different in the sense that I haven't done it in dinner box prep, but this is how I traditionally meal plan. I planned it out on my calendar. So I know tonight, which is Super Bowl Sunday, we're doing chicken wings. So I'm gonna prep the next three boxes, which are going to be chicken gyros. So gyros, chicken gyros, how do you say it? Cause I don't know that I know. But we're gonna do chicken gyros, we're gonna do pot roast, and then we're going to also do tomato soup. So we've got chicken and chuck roast going in boxes. I got these little bins from Target, they're super cheap. Yes. She's talking to her dolls. I thought this would be useful for keeping some of the things separated. Especially if you're worried about things leaking. Look at that. Look, that'll make some of y'all real happy. So with pot roast, I know I'm doing potatoes and carrots and onions. Onions. I feel like some of you guys have mentioned something about putting onions in the fridge. I have never had a problem putting onions in the fridge. Unless you're talking about like cut up onions and cut up onions, get a little yucky. Pita is gonna go, or well, could you call this pita? Yeah, it's not a pot, it's a pocket roast pita. It's gonna go with the chicken. Carrots are gonna go with the chuck roast. Green beans with the chuck roast as well. So for the chicken noodles, I know I need a cucumber. I really have this asparagus that I need to use. I also need a tomato, so I'm actually gonna pull two tomatoes from my tomato soup tonight and put those with the heaters. So with the pot roast, I'm just gonna throw them in the crock pot. I've got the seasonings in the pantry. Those are gonna stay there with the chicken heaters. We've got pretty much everything but the tzatziki. The tzatziki is in the fridge. It's gonna stay in there. And then the tomato soup also uses some canned tomatoes. Those I'm gonna leave in the pantry though. You could totally put the canned tomatoes in the fridge if you wanted to co-locate things even more. I love co-locating because then I don't have to think, right, about what I need when it comes time to cook. If you would like weekly dinner box inspiration sent to your inbox, go ahead and check out the link in my bio. You can sign up there. I send out the link to these videos as well as the recipes that I am using. And if you'd like more tips, tricks, tricks is really hard for me to get out today. If you'd like more tips, tricks, strategies, systems, hacks, all for helping you eliminate the overwhelm and decision fatigue that comes along with motherhood, then check out my profile, perhaps give it a follow, and if not, be free to scroll, and I'll see you next time.